Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out Crumbling, which is a cool little like dioramic type game where you get to take control of a little Crumbling and kind of use him as an action figure to fight all the baddies and take control of a kingdom and find pages to your comic book so you can read the story. And I really am a sucker for these type of games. I love the movement when you can move around like Demio, as you can see, and uh, check out environments and get all nice and close and look at stuff. And it's just really, really cool. So definitely nice. I like it quite a bit. So without further ado, the developers have definitely given us a key to check out and review. And I'm here to bring it to you so you could see what's going on. Uh, now, I played this demo a while ago on Steam and I had a lot of fun playing it. So let's check out the full version. Click. Click. And I love the narrator. It's so funny. But quite, quite Welcome interesting. To the famous Crumbles Crafts and Comics. Okay. Can you smell the adventure? I can. The store is closed. What happened? Uh-oh. It says read comics. We're going to move over here and... The latest edition of Crumbling, the popular comic. This must be a brand new release. All right. I love how it's all animated and stuff like that. So we can turn the page. Click. In a small town far, far away. Oh, I love how it has the dialogue at the bottom. Crafts and comics. And children from all over the world and even zoom in on it that's so freaking sick in the hope of getting hold of one of their fabled toys the crumblings for decades now mr and mrs crumble have been creating their toys with love and passion and just a little bit of magic okay each and every crumbling is imbued with this marvelous substance where does it come from it's the crumble's most well-guarded secret uh -oh. With it, the plucky little crumbling spring to life, ready yeah. for adventure. I love Every that. That's so cool. Every child gets their hand on one gleams with joy. And nothing compares to these magical toys. Of course, such success does not go unnoticed. Uh-oh. You should try and find those pages. Nice. So we definitely like there's some magic flying over that need board. to uh, find those pages throughout the world. So here's the bottle of magic. Let's fill this bottle up. All right. So we got ten. Let's go raise a crumbling. As you can see, we can look around the the store here and kind of move around. Uh, just like you would in Demio or any other game like that, which is great. Uh, you can also use uh, the arrows if it's a little bit of a pain for you, so that's great. So now we have a crumbling. So we're using our magic potion here to bring them back to life. Nice. Let's grab them. There we go. Enter the diorama. All right, what's really cool about the, the crumbling here is, you know, you can get up in, pers in, in his face and be all personal with him. And, he, you know, it's kind of like a little action figure who can hack and slash. Uh, later on, you can customize them with different colors and things like that to make them uniquely yours, which is great. I love that. And uh, we enter our diorama here, uh, but there also is power-ups and things we can get, uh, you know, basically upgrades to them as well. So let's go ahead and hop in the tutorial. Let's find out how all this works. And that's right. We're going to figure out how it works. What's with that worm? Uh-oh. Let's put it back together. Yes, let's talk to him and see what we can do. There we go. He's all back together. And it's just so cool to me how you can move around the environment and, and get real close and in-depth. And it's just really neat. I love these type of games. Howdy, young crumbling. Thanks for putting old Wiggle back together. Seems I lost my head there for a second. Those horrible monsters came and took old Wiggle apart. See, there's one of them. Beat him with that mighty sword of yours, would ya? Okay, so now we can attack. We can attack with trigger, and like I said, you can get real close. We'll talk to Wiggle again. Right on, cheers, mate. What do you know? There is more of them monsters. Well, that sounds special. All right, so we got a special attack here as well. Kind of take them out. 
using other buttons on your controller. And if you haven't noticed, I mean, you can move them around with your controller all over the place. And you can either do this with your right hand or your left hand, so that's pretty neat. Quite impressive. Watch out for the next one. Alright, so now we can dodge. We can either dodge by moving them around, uh, or there is a button that looks like it wants you to use for the actual demonstration here. And then you can, it looks like you can even attack them by just swinging your controller at them too, which seems to work fairly well. Got a little health bar above them, so you know how much HP you got. All right. And now we're gonna collect some some magic from them. That way we can unlock some more comic book pages and and things like that. Okay. Gotta get some more. We got a special attack, one-two combo. We'll dodge them. Nice. We collect all of our magic. Magic. Like I said, magic is basically used to uh, unlock new levels, unlock uh, stuff for the crumbling, uh, you know, whether it be power ups or colors and things like that. So, and I'm sure we'll get to see that here in just a second. All right. So, it's magical. Oh, it's good to be back. All your collectible magic ends up here. Yep. So, there it all is. Uh, looks like we got a magic coin here. A coin just lying about. And let's grab our crumbling here. Now, this so is the best part open. about it. Tearing it open out of the package, it just freaking, it feels so cool. I think we can go over here and customize already, maybe. Nope, not yet. Okay. We'll go ahead and go over here. Click. I, I love how it's got... You know, the, the whole store environment to it. It's just so cool and just so kid-like. It's great. Uh, so over here is going to be our next uh, environment called Hills. This should do the trick. And then let's go ahead and hop into it. All right. So we got a... What's this? How exciting. What is happening here? Ah, the portal is opening. Okay. We got a portal open. Not sure what that does yet, but we're about to find out. Go ahead and talk to this Wiggles. Oh, hey, thanks for picking me up. No idea what you're talking about. That's a portal. Okay. Maybe we need to go through the portal then, eh? I just love all the little characters. That's so, so cool looking. And when you get up close and personal with it, it just, it's so sick. Like, it feels like you're really in there. And off we go. All Where right, we're going into a portal. Oh, boy. <laughs> Go ahead and get him, see if a special attack will chop him. Alright, so it looks like we have either more health or attack up. Uh, so let's see, it says increases your maximum health, uh, increases damage of your special, and increases attack damage. I always want to go with health, so we'll go ahead and select health there, because I'm sure we'll need that at some point. And we'll hop back through the portal. It looks like it's throwing us in another level here. Got to make sure we dodge. Look at these characters. Look at some cow shooting stuff out of his udders. It's hilarious. Oh, man, you got to dodge all the milk. It's just cool moving your character all around. You know, trying to dodge things. It's so freaking hilarious. Uh, let's see. We'll do increase the attack speed in case we need to, uh, to really do something wild. Holy moly, we got... A green bean, green stock with a jack-o'-lantern. I don't know what that is there. But clearly, it's something. So let's see. Increase attack damage. A spiky, a spiky ball flying around that you that deals 20% damage. Ooh, boy. I think we're gonna do the attack damage by 20 here. And obviously, these are just uh, some perks that's allowing the pick at the moment, so we can kind of get a move on in the story. And it's really cool, because it almost, you have to read the attacks that your opponents are giving you. Uh, so you kind of get to uh, really 
be strategic with certain things. And I love how you can just dodge with moving your hand. That really makes things so much easier. Um, really cool. Really cool. Oh, man, that's hilarious, dude. All right, we got him. We need to make sure we're collecting all of our magic. Otherwise, we're going to have real problems later. We're trying to unlock levels. Nice. I love this. I love this. All right, heal for 25. Uh, increase attack damage. The spiky ball. Let's go with the spiky ball. So maybe it's like with every uh, single level you go through, uh, you're able to basically get power-ups along the way to help you further along in the level, but it might be specific to the actual levels and nothing else. Which is fine. That's really cool. Makes it so you can choose the right things in order to uh, really beat the level. Good to be a piece together again. Those tracks look like they the perfect spot to take it nap. Choo choo! Alright, so we definitely want to grab our coin. And there is the other piece to the comic book. So it looks like we actually beat this uh, diorama here. So we can hop back in to the portal. Yep, that's what it does. So now... It basically allows us to go to the next page. In the headquarters of Burzum, nice. the world's largest plaything manufacturer, the mood is not so cheerful. Revenues have been steadily plummeting, and the latest creations of its infamous boss, Boris Borisov, seem not <laughs> what a name. to be meeting a ready market. Adding insult to injury, the henchman brings news about the successful toy makers, Mr. and Mrs. Crumble. The game is just so interactive, man. You get real close to it, so see it. It's so popular. cool. A powerful elixir that only they possess. And in large amounts on top of that, a threat really, indeed really nice. to the entire business of Burza Corp. But cunning Boris Borisov already has a plan. The magic means profit. And it will put Burza Corp back on its feet. Of course it will. And thus the henchman is sent to steal <clears throat> the precious stash. Not cool, man. Uh, All right, so we got I another missing page. page we'll go ahead and check what out what the coins do here. At this cash register, you can buy upgrades, electric coins. Okay, so let's open it up. Uh, let's see. So, I got two coins here. Collectible that lets you crumble. Start with more maximum health. Let's see. Uh, a collectible that increases your magic. Uh, let's see. Attract magic magically. I'd like that so you don't have to really go around and pick things up. It automatically comes to you. But there's all kinds of different things here. Which is, which is really neat. So, maybe we will, uh... We'll just buy this first one here. Because why not, right? So you just grab the leather. And there we go. Uh-oh, did I, did I buy that one? Oh, I guess I didn't. So we got to uh, gotta wait here. Yep, we don't have enough. So, cool, we did buy that one. We'll go ahead and rip our crumbling off. I just love that. I love opening up the package. I want to be able to customize, but I don't think we've we've reached that yet. Uh, this is all of the settings here. There is a cross here, so I will throw that on. That'll make things a little bit easier. Um, show you guys the controls. So there's not a not a whole lot going on. Very simple and easy. Uh, but really don't have to uh, mess too much with any of the controls. It's all kind of simple in there. Um, this is where the collectible figurines are, it looks like. So this is where my collectibles go. So when, once you buy it from the register, you actually have to uh, put, this one on display. put it on display here. And then that way you can actually use it. Uh, but you can actually increase its potency as well with magic. So really, really cool. Definitely like that. Very nice. So let's go ahead and... Uh, see what we can do with that maybe maybe that is something we need to do there it's even stronger now. all right so we definitely have that locked in now and uh yeah very very cool let's see what else we can do looks like we got the forest back to the tutorial and maybe we need to enter the hills again to 
unlock the next one. Maybe we didn't do it all like we were supposed to. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Don't believe we are. Alright, so let's hop back into the hills and maybe we can collect more things. Come on, let's smack some Burza monsters. You shall not pass. That's right. <laughs> Hi -ya. Let's see how this goes, because maybe, uh, just maybe, uh, we have to collect another page in order to unlock the next one, so maybe we have to actually fight some things a few times before we're able to really and truly get on to the next level. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I just like how we get... Oh, yeah, see, it's different this time. I feel a tingle. Okay, how to play. Grab the tool, move along the wire, don't rotate, just keep it. Okay, so as you can see here, we clearly... Oh, boy. Ouch. We clearly have to beat this, and we did not have this in the last one, so this is probably how we have to do this. Oh no! We gotta keep our controller really steady for this. It almost kind of moves along itself, but you do have to position it this way or that way, as you can see. Oh no! Alright, so now we get an upgrade. We'll do the attack damage here. We did not have that on the last one, so I'm hoping we get to fight some more stuff and uh, hopefully collect another page so we can go on with the story. And once we go on with the story, we can uh, unlock some more dioramas here. As you can see, you can leave this streak, which allows enemies to get hit. That's definitely an awesome awesome perk all right let's see yep we'll do the special by 20 there make sure we're collecting all of our magic nice the cow is so funny to me We almost take those birds out in one hit. That's awesome. Oh no, he got me. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Yeah, we'll heal for 15, so it looks like we're about to lose some health there. Alright, yep, as you can see, definitely got some different levels. So it looks like either they're randomly generated, or uh, you do have to play through them again to get other things, which is nice. I like that. I'm hoping it unlocks a page here. Holy cow. That special is definitely what we need. Bunch them up so that way that special takes them out. Very nice. Oof, that's starting to get a little bit harder as you can see. They bunch up pretty good. Let's see, attack speed. Uh, we definitely need the health. I'm going to keep going with health. Just in case there's a big baddie here at the end or something. Collect all my stuff. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's so funny to me. 
There we go. Gotta make sure to use that trail to my advantage. Watch out for all the milk being shot. No. Oh. Alright, we got him. We got him. Alright, this one. Yeah, we'll increase our attack speed. Why not? Yeah, it's definitely faster for sure. Alright, what do we got next? That's definitely a little bit different of a message for sure. So yes, it does look like... We got another comic book page. So let's see what happens next. In there the we go. Of the night, the henchman sneaks onto the roof of Crumble's Crafts and Comics, and in his sack go all the bottles. Boris will be very pleased <laughs> indeed. But on his way out, the henchman makes a fatal mistake and loses a single bottle. Uh-oh. The bottle unplugs and spills the contents onto the latest creation of Mr. Crumble, the brave Crumbling Knight. Nice. The henchman hurries back to Berserkorp's secret lair with its secret sign on its secret gate. <laughs> Boris awaits his evil minion and is already brimming with anticipation. Unbridled, he splashes the stolen magic onto the most hideous abomination of all his toy creations, the brutal golem. The uh -oh. thunder rolls, a villainous laugh echoes. Oh no, is that gonna be a bad guy? Will this a boss fight? Heck yeah, dude. That'd be really cool. That would be really cool. I wonder where those pages went. All right, so. It looks and appears that we definitely just keep playing the one diorama until we get through the comic. Uh, so basically, you just keep going until one comic is done. And it looks like there's several comics that you go to, probably according uh, to what the diorama is over here. So I don't want to spoil too much more of the story for you. Uh, I definitely do want to customize my... Uh crumbling here though that is for sure so we'll go ahead and grab him real quick Damn those How do you get these things I want to show you that but as you can see the story is really cool it's definitely captivating it's something you want to get into bring some color into this there you go and you can see he's black there he's red yellow green blue purple we'll definitely there you go I like that he looks really really cool definitely sick definitely really really nice uh i love everything about this it's simple it's easy to play it's kind of a hack and slash you get to really just use uh your controllers moving around the environment and seeing everything is really neat um i love that you're able to play the same level over and over a few different times and that changes a little bit uh just so you can progress into the comic um makes things really nice and simple love that there's upgrades i love that you can upgrade the powers as well uh definitely add some replayability to it um very very nice uh what really keeps me going in this is actual story and i definitely want to find out what happens next there's no doubt about that so as always if you like what you saw check out all the links in the description below crumbling definitely a game you want to play if you're into those games that are kind of like uh demio moss mixture uh glass breakers things like that where you're kind of like looking at a dioramic view i definitely definitely like it very cool idea and uh i can't wait to see what happens next there's probably going to be a full playthrough of this on the channel if you like what you saw and you like what i'm doing Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we will see you on the next video.